Hi everyone, Dark Jenner Plays here, and today we're going to be taking a first look at a game called Kainga, I think it's pronounced, or K-A-I-N-G-A, -A. not entirely sure there, but it's Seeds of Civilization is a subtitle for it. Uh, and this is a game that I happen to see uh, while browsing on the list of uh, kind of new releases on Steam. It is a roguelite city builder, which has grabbed my attention thoroughly. Um, obviously I like my roguelites, I like my city builders. So I figured I'd give it a go, and as with the standard first look, we'll see what the game offers in the first kind of 20 to 25 minutes. Just have a quick look at what it's the uh, content is available there, and if we like it, we'll see if we do some more videos for the channel on this one. So, when you first start it, it jumps you straight into this tutorial here. There is a title screen, but it fades immediately in text here, which is why we're on this bit. But anyway, we're going to go through this little tutorial here, um, and we'll see what happens. So, welcome to Kainga. I'll be teaching you the basics of the game. First things first, let's move the camera around. Okay, okay then. That is fine, we can move the camera, fairly standard. Use Q and E to rotate, that's fine. And use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out, yes, okay. Lovely, okay, can you skip forward then? Right, lovely. See if we can find my village, I'm guessing it's here. Or is it, yeah, it must be. Yeah. Oh indeed, yes, got it, okay. You can click the mouse wheel to move the camera freely. Okay, yep. Your thinker is your village leader. We are thinkers too. If your thinker falls, all, all your braves die, you will lose. Villagers are expendable. Uh, we must protect thinkers with their lives. Okay. You can always select your thinker by clicking the profile button in the top left hand corner. So that's, ah, that's that one there. Okay, I thought he was a thinker too. Okay, got it. When selected, you can right click to move your thinker. Okay, so he moves over that way, that's fine. Is there a way around that I can't see? No, okay. You can move a command all your villages this way. Your mouse cursor will keep track of how many units you have selected. It does indeed. It's got a one on it. Okay. You can left click and drag to select multiple units. Yep, okay. AOE, that's fine. Let's get into some gameplay. Let's do so. First, you must build a campfire at the center of your village. Click the campfire item at the bottom. So I think we'll build it here, I guess. Let's build it there. The border around it is where you'll be able to build your raw resources you've claimed. Like, let's pop it there. So they're automatically going to go off and collect that. That's pretty cool. Build it in the centre of this island. That dirt patch seems like a good spot. It's been done. With the camp... Oh. Thanks very much. Right. With the campfire done, your thinker will be inspired uh, with a shelter technology. Click on the uh, and uh, click on the new house type. Aha! Uh -huh. So we can click on a wood house, uh, which is a capacity of three, capacity of four. The text a little small. Maybe they could make that a little bit bigger. It might be a setting I've not checked yet. Um, so that requires reeds. This one requires woods and clay, and this one also requires logs and clay. So I don't know where I get clay from at the moment. Uh, this one protects equally from all of those apart from that. So it's 80% snow protection. So this one doesn't protect from wind. We're playing three little pigs. Um, okay. I think we'll go for this one just because it's the most, the first one. Okay. So we have done that. Let's click on new house icon and place a few down. Uh, okay, let's place one there and one there. We'll build next to each other. Take notice of the arrow, that's the entrance and it must be accessible. Houses provide new braves if there is available food. Each house has a capacity which increases your total limit when built. Yes, okay. Press R to rotate buildings, right click to cancel. Okay. Your braves should build help, uh, buildings on their own. Uh, once complete, a house needs at least one brave inside it. After some time, with another food, it will produce another brave. Houses need food to produce braves, so let's choose a source of food. Okay. Right, that's going to eventually get taken for logs. We've got clay down here. I don't see food unless it's these bushes here. They're reeds. Oh, I could have done reeds. That's food, isn't it? Yes, okay. So we have a source of food anyway, so that's fine. Okay. So it has to go to sources of inspiration around the map. So is that that's a source of inspiration? I see. Okay, we'll leave him alone then. Yep, see the sparkling lights? I just have. Got no clay down there? No, I've got no more clay. Where do I get clay from? How do I produce clay? Okay, well, let's see what we've got here then. Right, so a bakery, a paddy, or a crop row. This is the only thing I can do to produce food because I don't have clay or I don't have whatever that is. 
Um, and that takes reeds to make, make food as well, but it must be placed on grass. Alright, we'll take this one. Let's find a bakery. So let's build a bakery uh, whereabouts. Okay, let's just pop it. I can't rotate. Let me try that again then. Ah, okay. Hmm. Set your send your thinker to the food inspiration. Where's the food inspiration? Am I not seeing the food inspiration? That must have been it. Yeah, and choose the bakery. This technology is an attachment that must be placed next to a completed house. Okay, so it's got to be here. Okay. It will snap to the side of the back of a completed house. Houses with attachments no longer produce braves. Make sure you have extra houses. Okay, you may not have the resources needed to build this technology, but we'll fix it. Click the claim land button to the left of the campfire button, which is this one here. Ah, okay, so where do I want to claim? Here? Does it say? Oh, I don't know where I want to claim. Tempted to claim up here. <laughs> right, that's done. You can now place a, claim, a marker to claim resources on land. Okay, so they're only going to claim land, or sorry, resources within my border. So let's go over there then. Show me the clay. I thought the clay was down there. Right, get my finger down here. Right, so once building, oh sorry, once placed, someone will go and build it. Claiming land costs no resources, but increases the world ante. Ante also increases over time. Hmm. With the brave selected, you can hold control and right click uh, a resource to force them to chop it down. Understood. Send your thinker to the inspiration down there as well. Okay, which I've done. Um, excuse me. There we go, he's finally getting it. Right, let's select a brave. See if he will go and grab it. Right, so now, we have a clay pit. There we go, that's what I want. Endlessly produce mud. Thanks very much. We have another one up here now. So you are going to be grabbing that one. Okay, let's do that. After the resource tech, uh, choose a festival where your thinker returns to the campfire. Place it somewhere acceptable. that go anywhere or? Okay, let's choose a new tech first of all. A reed bonfire or a feast. I think I'll go for the bonfire festival that grows bamboo. Okay. Oops, places are acceptable. Hosting festivals grant spe specific miracles to help you succeed. A demand has been made. Okay. You want some bamboo. Okay. Other tribes occasionally make demands for resources. Braves can fill demands when sent to the table. I see. Okay. So there's bamboo here. Can I chop this down? Let's have you. I misclicked. Stop walking around. <laughs> you pain in the bum. You. Can you go and chop that down? Are you going to grab it? No, you're not going to grab it. Grab it. Okay. All right. Uh, so we need to claim this thing over here. So let's pop this down here. Because this is mud down here. Let me build the totem first. Come on. Okay, so now we can build the clay. And we will finally get it. Uh, I'm going to deny you. You're fine. Oh, that sounds like a trouble. Other problems occasionally make demands. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, that's fine. Done. Okay. You have to claim some of that bamboo to fool this demand. It wouldn't let me. Something else I want to show you. Right, uh, there's a walker, one of the many beasts in Kanga. Oh my word, what are you? We're in a fight, we're in a scrap. Hopefully we're going to live where? 
Yes, okay, so we see this now. Which reminds me of Morrowind for some reason. It's like a snake in a big turtle shell on stilts. Okay. Ooh. He's going to give us a few Beastmasters. Right, you lot, come here. Go and tame that walker. Can you do it automatically, or...? We won our fight, anyway. Uh, ah, right, okay, so... Beastmasters, can you tame? Oh, my word, he just walks straight th around things. That's a bit weird. You can't seem to get him. Once to tame the beast is yours, you can have control and even build on top of it. Okay, top of the screen is the weather tracker, which shows what weather events are coming up. Uh-huh, okay, I'll see if we've got rain coming up. Okay, right, let's build another house. Let's build a bakery on the side of it once it's finished as well. Those Beastmasters don't seem to want to do that. Can you, like, go there? You don't seem to be able to go around there. Okay, that's fine. All right, just stay there for the moment then. Right, so the resources icon at the top left show the resources you have claimed, just for reference, that's fine. There's a mouse over box at the top right that shows you what your mouse is currently mousing over. Oh, I see. Okay, yep, I get it. The icons at the bottom left show the major bonuses you've accrued. Structure safety and sturdy construction, lovely. Different actions will learn new karma, which can be used to unlock new technology in the world. Anything else? That's it, you've got all the basics. Okay, then. Ready to challenge us directly. Ooh. Okay then, I'm not too sure how this is roguelite yet. Maybe I'll find out. Okay, you can pick up a challenge from the map at the back of the room in the hall. Ooh, what are you? Okay, I can't select any of these. Okay. Hold that festival. Right, okay, well, let's, um, let's surrender to the menu then. It's fine. And I will try a new game. There we go. Right. We go through here. Okay. So this is the the map, and uh, we have to go to the flatlands. So let's go here. At least I think that's what I've got to do anyway. So we start here. We have a few people. Not many, admittedly. Um, there is a beast there that is wandering along, destroying things, creating mud by the looks of it. I want to find a decent place to get some uh, some land done. I think here is fine, actually. So, uh, let me grab you. Where is there an inspiration thing? Because I need to be able to go and build a house. Uh, oh, no, we need to build a campfire first. I'm going to build it... Here, I think. No, let's build it here. Because it's near the food anyway, so that makes sense, I think. There's that. Right, let's now build this. We could pick a clay house, a thatched home, or a wood home. I don't think wood's going to be ideal. Although we've got quite a bit of trees around us. I'm going to go for the clay one, I think. Well, it takes food. Yeah. Oh, roof space can be built on if you can access it. Oh, okay. We have no karma, so I can't re-roll. Well, I can re-roll, but it doesn't help me, I don't think. It requires bamboo, which I've got over there, but I can't grab it just yet. I can always pop down a thing. So I'll pop down a thatched home, I think. Okay. So if I build one... I'm going to build one, say, there. You? Can you go grab that, or...? Maybe it'll just build it automatically for me. That's a cactus. Got loads of reeds and things. Yes, so he grabs that. That's good. Okay. There's an inspiration over there. So let's go send the thinker over there now. It's going to be a food one, which is good. That's what we need next. All right, he's... Gathering information around that for the moment, that's good. Let's put down another hut. Can't pop it there, let's pop it the other side of the cactus. 
He is now thinking. There we go, right, he has thought. Crop row, a farm row that can be placed only on fertile grass tiles. So that's not very good for us. Um, I think we'll just go for the bakery in this case. Because we can attach that to houses and we can get two of those going soon. Right, uh, let's pop you this side. No, there we go. My thinker has returned. Is there another inspiration somewhere? There's something down here. I need to go over there to get it. Okay. That tree is all wibbly wobbling. That's interesting. There doesn't seem to be anyone around at the moment, so that's fine. That beast has stopped over there. There's lots to see, but the map itself is quite empty in some places. Okay, well, he will get that soon. Ah, that's clay. That's good. Right. No bamboo. That's fine. We will get bamboo. It's fine. Uh, well, now we will take the clay pit because that's the most important thing for us. Endlessly produce mud. So we will pop you... Oh, I was hoping I could plop it somewhere in here. Why can't I place it? Ah. Ah, just there. It's fine. Right. Okay. That's fine. Now we've got instant clay, which is good. Is there? Ah, yeah, you've got a, uh, another inspiration there. So now we get our festival. Read bonfire festival that grows bamboo, which is what I want at the end of the day. So we'll take that. And we will pop you there. Why not? So if we can grow bamboo there, we can grow kind of an infinite number of houses, which is good. Pipe it in built. You built very nearly. Come on. You're taking your time. And yeah, you no longer produce me any uh, people, do you? So that's going to be interesting. Any bamboo? There's some bamboo there. Can I grab? Uh, there's only three people. Where's my fourth person? Is he in there? Right, you. Okay, that actually has been built. That's good. Right, where's the next inspiration thing then? No bamboo. I know. I can't host a festival because I don't have six people. So, can you go get that? I need to plop down this here. Let's pop it there. Right. Can we see another inspiration anywhere? I'm not seeing one. Oh, there's one. Oh, hello. What are you? I don't want you near me at the moment. Thank you. Take you over here. Are you moving? Yes, you are. We'll leave you to do that for the moment. And then I want you to just hurry up and build that. <laughs> there we go. Right. Get me the bamboo now. You're getting the bamboo. Fantastic. Okay. Let's wait for this to finish. Another one over there as well, which I'll grab soon. What have you got for me now? A rain collector. That could be quite interesting. So it takes some clay. Gives me firefighting abilities. Could be interesting. I raise an alarm or I can do firefighting. Um, that's a bamboo mechanism though. I think I'm going to do a rain collector. Rather than a shadoof. So I think we'll take that. And then you. No, 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 no. You go over here. Thinking you. This house is almost done. And that will allow me to build more people. I've really got a source of food, which is good for the, uh, the starting out campaign here. Oh, there's more bamboo over here. We might have to climb over here and claim this as well. In fact, there's more stuff here. 
All right, let's see what you got there. A lotus pond. Slow to grow lotus as a source of silk fabric. Not too sure what fabric's needed for yet. I'm guessing it's going to be clothes. I'm going to go for the storage, though, because that seems like the most sensible thing for me. Uh, if I could just grab you, sir. Over here. No, you, sir. You, you, you. Brr. You. Yes. Go there. Right, so we have one house. I think that noise was another person arriving, hopefully. Hopefully it wasn't anything deadly. Oh, there's another one over there. Oh, yeah, that's people. Being attacked. Right, where's my leader gone? Oh, he's there. He just stopped for some reason. Can you, can you go? Oh, Matt. Let's go get this one first. Not too sure if I can help at all. Don't think I can. I haven't lost anyone yet. Good. Right, okay. There's only one of them left now, so we should be fine. Okay, so we won that combat, which is good. I don't know how badly we were damaged or anything. Like, I can't see health bars, so... Right, we've got an inspiration now. Let's go find out what doodoo -doo has. Where are you? You're down here. Oh, there's another one over there. Okay, this inspiration. Reed field, silk loom, and lotus pond. So we've got some similar ones now. I can re-roll, but I think it's just going to be these three anyway. Um, I could reject all and choose a passive instead. All right, let's do that then. Baskets give Braves the ability to carry resources at full speed. Wooden nails, structural instructions as fast as you can acquire the resources. That's quite nice. Uh, your ranged units, don't have any of those. I'm going to go for the wooden nails, I think. Faster structure sounds good. Right, let him go back home for the moment. Uh, I'm going to build... Oh, no, he's got a, uh, an inspiration there anyway, so that's fine. Um, what I want to do... I need another population first. So let's build another house here. And I also want to build some storage. Um, storage can just go there. Reasonably central, so that's fine. Oh, we've got more combat coming in. Ah, right. So they come from over here. There's another village. They are raising lots of people. Only sending three over to me, though. But you've got a weird person. Right, let's go see what this is. Feast. A festival to, uh, to abundance. A snail beckon. A festival to call a snail from the wild and tame it. Oh, that might be interesting. I don't have any beast tamers yet, though. And a boardwalk arena. A round wood arena for two people to fight to the death. Uh, requires 20 population. So I'm going to go for this one because it requires 8. I can't build it just yet, but it's fine. We will wait. Um, guys being attacked. There's four of them now. Right, come on in. Have a fight. Where's my thinker gone? No, I don't want my thinker involved. Thank you very much. I'm just going to move my thinker around because I don't want him involved in a fight. <coughs> oh, have I, I'm losing loads of people. Oh no. I've only got one person left now. I have lost. Ah. Okay. All your braves perished. Right. Well, that is interesting. Technologies can... Ah, so I can take one of these into the future. Now I get the roguelike things. That's fine. Um, right. So if I just take through um, the clay pit, I guess, because I don't have to then go and research it, that's fine. Go over here then. So I've still got to do the flatlands, um, but I can also do terraces as well. Um, it's telling me I need to get Boardwalk Arena for the for the next one, so I was close to actually finishing that one. Um, but we can play on the pebbles, the towers. I know that's coming soon. That's available. Uh, so this one, this one, and this one is already available. There's going to be some more stuff coming soon, obviously, with the uh, with the next game. But the fact that you can take through technologies to the next kind of playthrough, and I'm guessing because there was two other locked ones as well, means the further you get, you could uh, unlock further ones, or you might be able to get a technology which does that. Probably if I do, if I get this boardwalk arena here, I can get the karma shop. Um, yeah. I'm the trade of karma for technologies. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave that there. That is 
uh, Kainga, the uh, Seeds of Civilization. It, uh, it is a roguelike city builder. I couldn't see it at first. I just didn't get far enough into the game. Um, an interesting concept. I'll definitely be playing some more of this. Um, if you want to see it on the channel, uh, do let me know down below. Uh, or leave a like on the video. It does help as well. Um, other than that, thanks for watching, and I shall see you guys for another episode soon.